Hi, I'm Andrew Shovelin. I'm Trackside Engineering Director with the team and I'm here to answer your questions about the Belgium Grand Prix. So, a lot of excitement on the opening lap with a big crash at Turn 1 caused by Hülkenberg. Uh, we also saw Vettel passing Lewis into Turn 5, getting the toe down the long straight. And the rest of the race was fairly straightforward though. We didn't have quite the pace to challenge Ferrari, couldn't put them under enough pressure. Uh, Valtteri had a busy afternoon though. He was starting near the back with all those penalties, uh, having to battle through the field, and he did a great job to finish fourth overall. First question from Charles on Safebook asking why it took so long for the FIA to call the safety car. Well actually the time it took them was quite normal. They need a period to look at the incident and understand can it be handled under yellow flag, does it need a VSC or do they actually need to bring out the safety car and also all the cars that were still racing, so including Lewis and Vettel, had all gone past the incident. So there's actually no danger in them doing that and it is quite normal for them to leave it a little while just to make that assessment. And next question is from Ethan on Twitter, asking about the damage on Valtteri's car following the, the Term 1 incident and whether it affected his pace during the race. Well, actually, all the damage in that instance was isolated to the front wing, and we were able to come in, change the front wing. We also changed the tyres at that point. Um, and the safety car meant that you, you've regrouped and you haven't lost any time. So actually, it was pretty minimal impact. Um, the car itself, though, was, was perfectly healthy for the remainder of the race, so there was no cost from damage. A question from James on Facebook, asking about the Force Indias, who nearly got into the lead on that lap one by towing Vettel and towing off Lewis, and whether this was actually making the Ferrari advantage in the straight line look a bit bigger than it was. Well, there's no doubt that the tow effect in Spa is enormous. Uh, it's also even bigger if you're towing off uh, two or three cars, which in their case they, they were able to do in those early stages. So it no doubt will have benefited Vettel on lap one, and that will have made them look quicker than they might have been if both cars were in free air. Um, but it was something that we weren't able to benef benefit from in the same way with Lewis on that safety car restart. We couldn't get quite close enough to get pulled along in the toe and then make the move end of straight. Uh, and Sabian on Instagrams asking about whether Verstappen got in the way at Lewis's stop when he stopped before Vettel, uh, preventing him from doing the undercut. Well, in reality, we were really too far back to make a proper undercut work. So what we were able to do was to bring Ferrari in, meaning that they couldn't just keep extending the stint and have fresher tyres at the end. Um, we also managed to actually end up in a pretty good bit of track relative to Verstappen. He didn't hold us up on the straight down into turn five. We maybe lost a tiny amount of time through the middle sector, but then as you saw, we were able to pass as Vettel was coming out of the pits. So on this occasion, it didn't really affect us. And Claire on Facebook is asking whether Lewis was turning the engine down when it was clear after the stops we weren't really going to be able to fight for the win. Um, well, we, we did, and Lewis often makes those decisions on his own where he's deciding that he can't actually challenge. Uh, he's wanting to make sure that the engine's fresh for the next events that it's got to do. Uh, but it's pretty normal that people will use the engine power through the race to uh, manage in that way. Jason on Facebook was asking about low speed traction, turn one, uh, turn 18 and 19, and whether that was a generic problem for us or a one-off. Um, well, we'll need to see going forward. It was definitely a weakness here, and we have seen it in other places where it has cost us some time. But normally, it's not an area that we're, that we're losing time to Ferrari. So we'll do a bit of investigation back here ahead of Monza, because Monza's another circuit that's got low speed traction. We've got a question from Johan on Instagram, asking whether we went too conservative and added too much wing, uh, whether that was causing a problem in sectors one and three. Um, well, we did actually generally drop wing level over the weekend. We were playing around as is normal at Spa. You're finding a level that looks good and consistent and that the drivers are happy with. And we were pretty happy with the compromise that we ended up. It would have been good in qualifying. Obviously in the wet you saw that we were, we were very strong. Um, but in the race we, we weren't quite quick enough and whether we'd been lower drag or not, I don't think we would have matched the Ferrari pace. So thank you everybody for your questions today. We're gonna to be back this time next week to answer more questions about the Italian Grand Prix.